So you're just itching for snow. I'm very excited about all this. Uh, more skiing probably yeah. than some snow per se. Right down here, but up in the hills, and we're getting, you know, glimpses of yes. snow, so it's yeah. on a lot of people's mind. Yeah, Scott, especially the kids, right? Th that's right. Today, you know, you look up at the sky, Mary, it just felt like snow, and mm -hmm. I was talking to the kids about, you can always tell, this is a little added bonus here in, in our special weather segment, you can always tell how the snow is about to, if snow is going to turn to rain. When you look up the clouds and it's completely gray and it's one blanket, that's typically snow, and it's going to switch to rain, you'll start to see the undulations in the bottom of the cloud because the yeah. snowflakes, when they're falling, obscure your view of the bottom of the cloud. When it turns to rain, you can look right through it and see the clouds starting to do that. So mm -hmm. we started to notice that during the day today. That was just a bonus? That's a bonus. Woo. <laughs> now it's time for a weather <laughs> question from Galileo about snow. Hi, my name is Chloe and I go to Galileo and this is my question. How is snow made? How much rain do you need to make snow? What does the temperature need to be to make snow? Okay, Chloe, you asked three questions there. Great questions all together. How do we get snow to form? And you know what? A, a young second grader walked up to me and he just said, you know, I, you know how does snow form if, if, if it's ice and it melts? How can it be snow? So we were talking about how snow forms. It's actually raindrops, or I should say cloud droplets, uh, that are basically super cool. They're below freezing, but they're not frozen yet. And then they... Uh, they will basically get to the point where they will freeze and they form an ice crystal. And it's all little ice crystals that come together and form a snowflake, then the snowflake falls. If you want to examine a snowflake, you put your arm out where it's nice and cold on your jacket, watch the snowflakes fall. You can't touch them or they'll melt. And you can analyze the snowflakes and you see all the ice crystals coming together. So it's ice crystals coming together to form the snowflake. If it melts, then you just have water out there. And if it refreezes, it turns into a sleep pellet. How much precipitation do you need? How much moisture? It's pretty much the same thing as you would need for rain. You just have to cause the air to rise, get that warm air rising up over cold air, and that snow will begin to fall. It all depends on the temperature. And you asked, what does the temperature need to be? Well, it needs to be 32 degrees or colder to get snow. Now, way up in the clouds, even in the summertime when you're playing out at Roaring Springs, those high, thin, wispy clouds are made of ice crystals. It's 50 below zero up there, even in the summertime. But as precipitation falls in the summer, it starts to snow and many times it turns to rain and falls but now we get the cold weather the snow is coming down and depending on the temperature a great question because if it's too cold maybe it's too cold we really can't make snowballs where you don't get that good snow making snow how much snow would fall from a half inch of water so you see it right here. If it's 32 to 28 degrees, you can get five inches of snow. But when it's really cold, 14 degrees down to 10 degrees, less than 9 degrees, 20 inches of snow can fall. So you can get all kinds of snow. Hey, I want to see your photos. If you can, send it to this address right here. I contribute, that's you, I contribute at KIVITV.com. And we're going to get pictures on here at Fox 9. Right on. Now, how do we know for certain that no two snowflakes are exactly the same? Well, meteorologists all around the world <laughs> examine every snowflake that comes Is down. That right? Island, and none have been the same. None have been the same. Not one. That sounds nice. like one big challenge. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thanks, that one Scott. Out. Well, this next story.